Hi everyone, Kathy Beltran with Wings and Whispers. Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we will be starting our base, first layer of painting on our lay, um, pieces that we have. So right now I'm working on my largest piece, which is the bottom piece, which is the main body. Um, you definitely wanna have your water reservoir, a tin or something that has kind of a lip, a higher lip. So doing it on maybe a paper plate that might be a little bit harder or it, it, it could still work you're just gonna get paint a lot of paint everywhere i typically will grab a little bit of my paint using a palette knife i'm working with elephant chalk paint by waverly i typically start on this set i'm going to start lighter and i will work from there so i've already started some of my feathering and what I want to do was add a lot of water, take a little bit of paint, and I want to have that watercolor consistency. And so, as long as I have that, um, you definitely want to have your area protected because you're going to do a lot of flickering and you might even want an apron because you will be surprised at how much paint you get everywhere. So I typically try to get as much water out of the bristles and what you want is some separation. You want to see a lot of the separation at the tips. And so you can even use this and, and flick it from here. So typically when you first do it, it's very light. And I will come back in and do another layer of the same color. And so since we have not put in our lines that separate each of the feathers. All we are working right now on is our center ridge line where we glued and paper mache. So those, this will be the center of all the feathers. Um, we've already talked about in previous tips to take your middle piece, line it up, and go between each of the feathers in the corners here, line it up and put your pencil marks in. So you don't have to paint this entire bottom piece here in the middle and up in this area. So typically, so I've already put my pencil lines in and this is just gonna save you a lot of time. And I typically go about one to one and a half inches higher and I will start there. So what you wanna do is you want to, hopefully you practice this first in one of the other tip videos, but you want to take your brush and get as close to the ridge line on one side of the feather as possible. And so I've already done this side and it's my first layer of that side. So I'll come to the other side and I'll get as close as I can, drag it a little bit and pull it out. And remember I talked about your lines might get thicker up here and then more wispier, just depending on how you, you loaded the brush. You wanna be mindful of where the next feather starts on the opposite feather here because you don't want to drag it all the way over and then you'll have to kind of you know take a paper towel and get that paint off of there while it's still wet so you're working with imaginary lines right now because we will deal with all of that in the details so you can also come back on the other side and add that second layer right on top of that first one you just did with this paint, it, it is really light. It's very light grayish tan. And so since I know I still have some paint on there, I'll come back around on the other side. Don't worry if you get paint on your center ridge line, the glue area, because again, that will be detail work that we fix later. And I also go to the sides and flick it up. Now you, you don't have to worry about getting these super fine lines on the side. You're just gonna, this is gonna be a built up process. You, again, every time you grab the paint, luckily enough, I didn't grab too much, so I still have some um, separation here. So I can always go back over here and throw some here and go back on it if I want in certain areas to where I felt like I didn't have enough of the wispy stuff. So I would do this all the way across. And when you get to the longer feathers, you might have to stop, add more, get some more paint on there and flick it off and, and continue on. And so 
I think you can see, but it's still fairly light here. I can see it definitely. Um, but you'll do this for this layer, your middle layer, and your top layer. Your middle layer, mind you, you have all your pencil marks on this bottom layer and your middle layer already. The top piece, you're going to paint the entire thing. Um, before I had told you, when you lined and you put all three pieces on, where you might see the back of certain feathers, depending on how you're planning to display it. So I know that on my second piece, which is here, due to my shaping, I'm going to see, no matter what, even if I have it on a wall, I might see the back of these feathers in some way. It could be uh, the first three. It really, again, depends on your shaping. And so I will come back and do that side as well to get those layers down. So when you're ready for your third piece, you'll do the same thing as that, um, depending on your shaping. I typically don't have to do my back pieces on my top, just maybe one feather only. So you will do this um, first base layer coat. You might have to do two of them. Work as you go, come back to the next one, add your second one, go to your next one, and just keep working back and forth. But what you'll notice is, um, you know, some areas might look darker and it really just depends on how much paint you put on there and water and what you didn't get flicked off. But it's okay, because this is the first layer. It's going to, you're just trying to get the basic outline done. And then it will start to come alive as we progress. So this is what I want you to do. If you have any questions, definitely reach out. I, again, I use my lighter colors first and then I might come in later with those same lighter colors. So um, I will see you when I have my first layer done on all three pieces. So happy painting, guys. Have a great day.